From finding a new landfill to concealed carry permits, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi got a lot on his plate. Here's Gina Mangieri. Joining us in studio, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi. Thanks for being here, Mayor. Gina, I always love being with you. Thanks. Last time we saw you, there was some new momentum <laughs> just about to come up about yeah. where to put Oahu's next landfill. Well, it's complicated. You know, yeah, it's complicated, but it's a huge responsibility as well, and one that we're taking most seriously as an administration. So we've asked the Land Use Commission to give us another two years because we just set up a land action committee of some of the most prominent people you could imagine, experts in everything in involving landfills and we had six sites for them to evaluate and all six were rejected because all six were no pass zones over our aquifer and I don't have to tell you what Red Hill and everything else has gone on attention to our drinking water has never been at an all-time high and that's an understandable situation it should be that anyway uh, but under those circumstances then that leaves us with a real challenge as to an alternative you know we're under uh, under contract until 2028 to state the uh, Waimanalo landfill but you know there's been a long-standing promise that once that contract was completed that the city would find a new site you know, people on the uh, leeward side of the island are expecting us to do that so we're left now to look at state agricultural land and military sites mm -hmm. and so we are going to go into those negotiations on both fronts we need more time to do that uh, but since you mentioned to me off air the possibility of relocating or dislocating people that's not even an option we're not even considering that and we can all do our part at home just to throw away as little as we can well yeah that's right I mean I think you know at this day and age of people being very sensitive to recycling we appreciate any and all efforts that people make in that regard sure also sensitive you mentioned a key word because sensitive yeah. places legislation is important as we have more concealed carry uh, permits now finally being issued we are and you know the fact is we're in accordance with the Supreme Court ruling that came out a few months ago but that also left it to the counties to make their own determination so while I support uh, the Supreme Court decision if you will and the Second Amendment rights of people we're not a gun culture we have not been a gun culture for 170 years and so uh, I think a lot of what we've proposed albeit aggressive is really a common sense approach and so sensitive places is deemed in stores restaurants churches public areas or whatever I mean I have a hard time believing as yes, I've listened to some of the testimony of people in favor of it you know I, I almost hear them describing a Hawaii that I don't know I've never known and for that matter, not one that I ever want to see happen. So in that regard, we're going to issue permits. I think we've given out about 37 so far. Uh, if people are qualified to get them, we're not going to restrict that. That goes through the police department. Uh, but at the end of the day, we'll see where we are with Bill 57. I feel pretty good. We have another big uh, hearing coming up on February 22nd. We'd like to encourage anybody and everybody who feels strongly in support of Bill 57 that we don't have open carry or concealed carry for that matter in uh, in the places we've mentioned which are restaurants parks churches schools government places I mean just it's a common sense rule your state of the city will be coming <laughs> up and then yes. uh, we understand a town hall tour tell us what's well, going both on both of us yeah state of the city a month from tomorrow actually March 14th uh, at 11 a.m. in the morning uh, and uh, hopefully this television station will decide to carry it and if you don't I'll talk to you about it. No. <laughs> I'm hoping that that will happen. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about that because our team has done an incredible job this year. But more than anything, I want to be able to showcase and talk about the plans going forward uh, because I think that's what people want to hear as well. So good job this past year. I expect our what will be our third year in office here to be our best year yet and that's the plan we hope to be able to deliver to everybody and we are going to go on the road with our cabinet uh, we're going to I think the third week of March is when we're going to start after state of city we're going to do 11 town halls in 10 weeks all right well good luck with that and we'll post thank the you. dates when we have them thank and you. mayor thank you so much for being with us oh, always always a pleasure and I appreciate the opportunity to talk about what we just talked about thank you very much and we'll send it back to you